What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. There are three things that we need to tackle today. Three topics. One is a claim that I need to debunk that I'm going to do at the end of this video. But I want to take you through both some issues that people have been having inside of the game as well as, uh, well, runes and the insane prices of runes right now inside of Diablo Immortal. Let's first go to the issue certain players are having. As you could see over here on Reddit, there is a new button inside of your settings if you're playing on mobile that allows you to play in a lower quality. It essentially is knocking things down or not, not having you download the high resolution of all of the game mechanics, which allows for players with lower end devices to be able to experience Diablo Immortal in a great positive way, to be able to experience everything inside of the game which is actually quite nice but there's been an error coming and as you can see the error is low storage updates may be affected tap to manage game resources this is happening to people even though they have plenty of storage on their device so something needs to be tweaked over here let me know if you are having this issue inside of the game yourself uh, i personally have not used that i haven't used it on my phone i don't need to but some people that are and have are experiencing those issues. The second topic of the day is going to be back into the market, but not for the reasons that you think. We're going to the market for runes because something that I haven't mentioned on the channel or discussed were the new rune drops. Notice we have our silver runes, then we have our blue runes, and we now have our golden runes. I need to show you the absolutely insane prices that these golden runes are going for. First of all, we can see that the best of the silver runes, they're really not going for much. 300 platinum, not that much right there. You're getting an increased, uh, increased bonus by 4%. When we move our way up to the blue runes, we'll go to the number one, the best one, the ECE. We take a look, we're getting a 5% attribute bonus right here. But what are the prices on the best one? All right, 8,000 platinum. If you have some of these, maybe worth selling so you could pad up your platinum, especially now since plat the values inside of the market are quite low, for gems that is. But I really wanted to focus on some of these newer gems, these golden gem uh, runes, I'm sorry. And these are all gonna give you the e increased bonus by 6%, even at the FA, the Fa rune, which is the best one out right now, it's going to give you that bonus increase by 6%. Of course, as we know, these all go in order of worst right here, all the way to the best down here. Now, what are the values? Let's see the first ATI golden rune selling for 19,000 platinum. That's quite expensive for a rune. The reason is supply and demand. There's not a lot of these out there yet. A lot of people don't have them, so people will pay to have the best runes inside of the game at the point in time. Check this out. The second best, 68,000 platinum. Is this what they look like on your servers as well? Again, every server has its own market, but that's not even the best. CIR, okay, that one's down to 39,000 platinum. Then we have the TYR out of stock and the FA rune, 85,000 platinum platinum 85,000 that's that's like buying at this point in time in the market two two out of five star blood soaked jade gems which is absolutely insane but why why is this one so good the the uh equipment is increased by six percent the damage by two percent to enemies below 30 percent life Primary attacks have a 6% chance to reduce enemy attack and movement speeds by 20% for 3 seconds, and the skill damage is increased. This is a fantastic rune. I wish that I had one. I do not, but we will, and it is the Fa rune. I like how they uh, kind of reuse some of the names there. But as you know, and my suggestion is, depending on what kind of player you are, if you're the player that wants to be the best in Battlegrounds and be climbing the ladder and just be number one everywhere... When you unlock yourself or find yourself a Fa rune, you're going to want to use that. For someone like me, more of a casual experience type player, I'm going to see the opportunity to cash out and make a bunch of platinum. So if I happen to grab one of these while the market is still hot for runes, I'm going to list it on the market for some of those people that want and desire to have that extra buff and they'll pay for it. This would almost double the amount of platinum that I'm sitting on right now. By the way, we've been trying to get a bunch of gems lately in the market and a uh, lot of bidding going on. It's tough to grab stuff. It's a buyer's market right now. So 
runes, crazy expensive. But I want to debunk something because here I was told that when you run an Elder Rift or people have been running Elder Rifts with three rare crests and getting themselves a hundred legendary gems. I don't believe this, but we're going to give it a try right now. I'm going to jump in with a couple of other players and we're going to see if we can replicate this type of an experience. Uh, if these players will ready up. We have some brand new players here. Look at this. All right, we're going to we're going to cancel. We're going to leave and we're going to do it solo. We're just going to do this solo and see if that maybe can replicate the experience. We're going to run through this rift as quickly as I can. I do not believe that we will get 100 legendary gems from running three rare crests. One, I believe that if this did happen, it would be fixed instantly by Blizzard because it is a huge, uh, it's it's a bad value for them, right? It's not going to, uh, it's going to hurt their, their wallets, their pockets. Plus, if this had happened, we would have seen some screenshots or some video footage of something demonstrating it it's it's too big of a deal too big of a of an issue for that to have happened now also we talked about this yesterday in yesterday's update the uh the pets they're supposed to be picking stuff up more quickly more efficiently and they're supposed to allow you to just run around a little bit more and be able to do more damage more quickly farm more quickly and have you not need to go backtrack to pick up all the stuff that you've gotten from your beatdowns. Have you have you experienced that? I personally feel that the uh, that the pets have been doing a better job. Perfect? No, you still have to backtrack a little bit, but not perfect. And there we go. I did not receive 100 legendary gems. I did not even receive one legendary gem. Debunked. It's not true. It doesn't happen. And I won't believe that it happens until I see a video of someone demonstrating it. Because right now, it's not there. Let's take a quick look at what's going on inside of the game today and address the Fisher's Frenzy event going on. Yesterday, when I recorded my video, keep in mind, <clears throat> I record a video and then I have to make the thumbnail, I have to do some edits, and I have to upload it to YouTube. There's a time gap, probably about approximately an hour between my recording and going live with the video. When I recorded yesterday, Fisher's Frenzy was not in my events tab. It was not there. And obviously, as we now know, it's not an event that you could find um, on the map. It's not like you go to an existing zone. It's its own special zone. Shortly after recording and uploading the video, this became available in my in my uh, events tab. So a lot of people were saying, why don't why don't you have it we do at that point i did have it as well so that's going on and really there's nothing else you still have wild brawl going on inside which i have not participated much in we got your uh mystery set items with shady stock make sure that you participate in that but fisher's frenzy i mean if you haven't participated in this it's not anything crazy exciting it's where you're just going fishing in a zone made for fishing and you can get some extended rewards something i will say though when you are fishing they have a new mechanic that allows you to fish a little bit more effectively. So it looks like no one's here and then everyone starts to populate in, right? So when you're fishing at this point, let's, uh, let's drop my line. We're going to go fishing right here. You'll notice that on this, you can now drag it in a certain direction. Oh, what is this? You can now drag it in a certain direction and it'll allow you to speed up the fishing progress. You know that you'll be sitting here for four minutes while you're fishing. What is this right here? Oh, that's cool. It's actually a little bit different on PC than it is on phone. On the phone, you're gonna take your finger here. I'm gonna, did I, did that actually get my progress going? On the phone, you take your finger and you drag up or whichever direction the arrows are facing. Here on PC, it's telling you to hit a certain button, a certain number, and it's going to speed up your fishing progress. It's actually quite a nice mechanic for people that don't want to do as much of an AFK fishing, but they want to do more of an active fishing. As you can see right now, when I hit the next number, I'm at 46%. It looks like we have a fish in the line. I did put out a fishing guide months ago. If you missed it, look up Echo Gaming Fishing in Diablo Immortal on YouTube and it'll come up. Here, number three, I'm at 50%. Boom, 58%. I gained 8% fishing progress just from hitting that button. So 
the event isn't as exciting to me as the uh as the new mechanic to speed up fishing right there i gained nine percent fishing progress at this point at 73 percent, we may as well see what kind of fish i pull in because i uh i want a big one that will, took us from 75 to 82 percent make that 83 we'll go here again i usually start reeling my fish in around uh 90 something percent and by the way i have never ever gone fishing on my pc it's always been on my phone all right here we go we're gonna hold this a little bit 98 i'm gonna get it to 99 and we're gonna grab our fish right here we're just gonna keep this in the center as much as we can because we are a good fisherman this is actually moving quite slow i would believe i'm not going to get a great fish that's just my my gut right there what do we get oh well snap i got myself a treasure that's the first time that a treasure chest has come to me and it gave me a go a legendary piece of gear as well all right well there you go this is the entire fishing zone that was actually good timing to show something cool the zone is pretty filled up a lot of people like going fishing you can't go over here if you look around the zone there's not much going on over here guys it's just uh, it's just all for fishing but I think it's uh, a cool event, but also a little bit lackluster. Bl Blizzard did tease some type of an Olympic uh, event going on for fishing, potentially in the future inside of the game. But more details on that. That was teased over on their Twitter, which you can go check out. But hey, runes, if you get the golden ones and you're not a top player, sell them and make that platinum.